Hey folks, September 23rd, Red Ball Patch Compound. I'm gonna try to make this a quick, short and sweet video. We've got some weather. Yeah, it's coming in, coming in hot. So hold tight. Ye old stop sign patch. Somebody still has a scale on that patch because that's a heavy girl and I don't want to move it. I did get the plant cleaned up and I've got a nice cover crop going of weeds. Yeah, there's some poke weeds. I think I even see a maple. I got a maple tree trying to grow. Our watermelon, still pretty solid plant though. Happy with that watermelon plant. And the watermelon that she's hooked to, or hooked to her, whatever you want to say. She's wonderful. I've got an OTT on this gal. She's Depp 88 or 95 or something. She's old. Meemaw watermelon is what we're looking at here. Eh, just a nice, good, symmetrical fruit. Kind of blocky. Not sunk in. Relatively flat on top. And just a good, fat, parallel melon. OTT has her at 200 pounds. And that's potentially that's, that's a West Virginia state record on OTT. Now this girl's not on a scale, so I know not to get too excited. Cool it, doc. Melons go light, melons go heavy, melons go chart. And I hope that this gal at least gives me chart. The plant itself's okay. And it just has to be okay at this point. We're starting to get a little bit cold here. So I got that fan off there and I'm just gonna let it continue to be her and pull off any calls when I can find them come out here and tell her keep up a good work sweetheart please be heavy please don't be painfully light i'm not going pre-weigh guys i want this one to be an exciting melon for for me when it hits the scale finally so you're gonna see raw emotion of happiness or despair <laughs> and sadness <laughs> all right let's go look at some pumpkins oh the main patch Check out that mustard, goodness gracious. If I could grow pumpkins like I grow mustard, I would be looking good and off to the races. <laughs> all right, so our main plant, the 1965 rotoball. We have some leaves. This is all, all new foliage down through here. And I like the collar, it looks good. And I'm letting it grow into the mustard. I've got a lot of growing tips, probably more than I should. I'm kind of letting it grow wild at this point because we're very end of season. My intention was to run it up through here. Plant said, hold my beer, I'm gonna go this way, and I'm fine with that. It's not gonna hurt anything. The old portion of the plant is old. Oof, oof, oof. It's all right. September 23rd, what do you expect? These leaves, they're old. They're gonna look like crap. Some of them are gonna die over. Maybe I'll pick them off and leave them lay in the patch. Maybe I'll pull them out of the patch, but they do get picked off or at least broken down to where water and gunk can't sit there and have issues with vines. A lot of, a lot of yellow jackets in my patch and it's just cause there's no moisture. This is the season of yellow jackets. I don't know if the rest of the world's like that, but West Virginia's yellow jacket central. The main vine that we've split Turn off these fans, take a quick look, get an update on that. Try to get some of that noise off. That's a little bit better. Real happy with that main vine. You talk about a healthy, <laughs> yeah, uh, as healthy as it can be, main vine. And I'm happy with it. She's, she's hard, she's split, she's healed. Do I still have oog spots? Yeah, on occasion. Is it heavily managed? Oh my goodness, I've managed it beautifully. Stem side of the fruit, let's pull it back the best we can, if we can. Take a quick look at things. Our stem, she's a good stem. Cracking and checking around it to be expected. It's healing nicely. No soft spots, I always like to check. It's the number one soft spot area that can ruin your day real quick is where stem meets fruit. So always check your full perimeter every day. Make sure it looks good. And mine does. This dark area, black mold, perfectly fine with black mold. Matter of fact, 
when I see that, I feel like nothing else really can start there. And that never hurts the fruit. I always have that junk on my stems. I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to paint my whole vines with black mold because it's really asymptomatic to my grow. Ah, stem splits down through there. Excuse me, main vine splits. Good old black mold. <laughs> oh, don't breathe around Doc's pumpkin or you'll be dead in within hours. <laughs> oh, happy with this. Happy with the stem side. She's she's a nice, nice, good looking fruit, stem side and healthy. Let's go check out the uh, blossom man. Different story of the blossom man. Not 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 bad different story, but some other concerns and thoughts. Let's get to it. A mess like that, there's bound to be some mice. Yeah, catch me some mice. Oh my goodness, you lazy thing. That's not, that's not gonna help your hunting. Oh, good gravy. Home stretch for the last two pumpkins. The porch pumpkin plant is done. She's pretty rough. My wife was giving me a hard time just now about what's wrong with this one, Chris? <laughs> and it's just old, it's old and sick and tired. But this fruit comes off and goes to a way off this weekend, the 2025.7 Rotoball Porch Pumpkin. And she's been a fun, easy grow. The 1965 Rotoball, 1965.5 Rotoball on scale. Nice, good, healthy fruit that's grown to the edge of her scale, almost, about another inch. And then grown to the edge of her scale, almost, another inch and a half or so, maybe two inches. I'm not gonna pull the full sheet off. I really just wanna talk about the checking up here and the healing. So that's a good thing. That means this fruit is putting on a little bit of pounds internally. And I know she's putting on pounds internally because her inches are staying the same at this point, relatively. But we're still getting pounds on that scale head. Scale head. Let's, see, let's look at that blossom, man. Not bad. Pretty good. Good cracking and everything. Still happy camper there. Scale head. Or 2000 at least. That's cool. Yay, 2000. What's that, a three or something? Or at least 2,003 pounds. So that's good. Nice to be part of the 2,000 pound club. But you got to get her to the scale to claim that. Until then, she's just hopeful weight. Uh, a little bit longer. She keeps giving me numbers down there. She gets to stay on that scale platform a little bit longer. So we beat the rain. That's pretty cool. And got a full patch tour in, which is nice. Oh goodness, home stretch guys. It's been like home stretch the past three videos. It's home stretch almost there. Oh. Almost there. I mean, we are almost there. We're in the, the heat of the moment of way off season. Last weekend, this past weekend, was all the big ones starting. And you're going to see over the next two weeks the majority of the way offs. And then it'll be the straggling way offs, the, the year end final way offs of the season. With any luck, hopefully you're still got a fruit or two going. And, and you, you get to the scale on a couple of those way offs. That's, that's my hope as well and maybe set some new personal bests, maybe some state records or chase down some, some numbers you've been after with any luck. Hope to see you at the scale. Hope to see you at Elkin this weekend. That's where I'm gonna be and we'll take that little girl. I'm gonna come to Elkin and hang out with some friends, wear fruit, have some fun. See you at the scales. Good luck. Doc out.